Will Joe Biden survive? There's a raging debate in the U.S. and the rest of the world about the current U.S. President Joe Biden and what he's showing with signs of his aging and the implications of that in his upcoming presidential election campaign. Was it terrifying watching Joe Biden at the debate and at the NATO press conference? That slow speech and the stumbles with coming up with what to say, the blank stares. Yes, it can be terrifying. But is the terror about Joe Biden or is it about us? I can remember a time when if a woman had been on that stage, talking the way a woman talks and acting the way that a woman acts, it would be terrifying for a lot of us. I can remember a time when if a colored person had been on that stage, talking the way a colored person talks and acting the way a colored person acts, it would be terrifying for a lot of us. From all reports that I can see, it appears he's doing fine at the job of the President of the United States. The question is whether he can lead his election campaign, whether he can win. And it's unfortunate, that's where the question is. He is the President of the United States, the leader of the free world, supposedly the most powerful person on the planet even he, with all his power, cannot turn our attention away from what he is and what he looks like to get us to focus on what he does. We are compelled to tune in on what happens to an 81-year-old. Why can't he look and act young like the rest of us? If the most powerful person on the planet can't do it, what chance do a normal 81-year-old trying to convince his family that he can still live his own life? What chance do a normal single mother trying to convince an employer she can still finish her job while caring for her child? What chance do a terrified black kid staring down the barrel of a gun held by a just as terrified police officer? Is he staring down that gun because of what he is doing or because of what he is. With Biden, it's all very entertaining watching all of this media furor and clips they choose to show of him. What I really want to see is a live stream with Biden for 24 hours, watching him do what he normally does without his media minders. What I want to see is, besides the few moments that usually gets all the attention and drives the whole world bonkers, I want to see what he's doing the rest of the time. I suspect he'll be just like any 81-year-old, mostly getting boring, everyday things done. And that is the unfortunate thing, is the reality that what scares us most is this job that we put on a pedestal is just like the rest of the jobs that humans have to do. And this superhuman leader of the free world is an imperfect human being. In the end, elections are about what we choose to worship. And what we choose to worship says a lot more about us than about the people we elect. So back to the question, will Joe Biden survive? I'm sure he will. The question is, will the U.S. as a country survive? Will we as a human race survive worshipping the things that we worship?